All right, here we go, people. Today we're gonna be opening up a Magic Wilds of Eldoran booster box. You know what? I haven't really ventured into the Magic world very much, so this is gonna be a new one for me. Hopefully, this goes really well, and you guys enjoy this. And uh, if you guys are new, of course, smash that subscribe button. It's free to do so. It takes you a second, and it helps you find me in the near future. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start. You know what? I'm doing this a little bit too tricky. Good. Open this bad boy up. Now, I do believe there are about... How many packs are in here? 15 or something like that? Or is there more? It's a whole booster box. So there should be like either like 30 or 15. I don't know. Magic is kind of strange. I don't really open up magic too much. So this is kind of like a new thing for me, people. Yo, I like the box. Like it's really well made, you know? It's like strong, sturdy. I'm not saying that Pokemon's not. I'm just saying it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, here we go. This is our first... There we go. This is our first pack. We need to get our sleeves ready, of course. Which they are right here. Got our sleeves. Let's go ahead and start to rip into it, shall we? Now, are these easy to open? I don't know about magic. If anyone in the chat knows about magic more than I do, let me know. Give me a heads up, and I'll be appreciated. And let me know in the comment section what I'm looking for in terms of hits. Okay, here we go. I'm actually really, like, kind of worried, man. What are we going to pull here? You know, like, anxiety is kicking in a little bit. I don't even know if these are good or not. Okay, so we got a food. Is that good or is that not? We pulled a food. <laughs> okay, next. We've got a copy enchantment. I repeat, we have a copy enchantment. Let me know in the chat if this is a good card I'm pulling. So I, I really don't know. We got an intruder alarm. All right. Like, I don't even know I'm supposed to sleeve here. Gumdrop Poisoner. We've got a Court of Jerimbring. We've got a Hyder's Crown of Winter. We do have a Curiosity. It's a nice looking card. I like this one. Sweet. All these cards are nice. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to sleeve up and keep. Got myself a Vampiric Rites. There's no actual like um, holographic stuff on them, like in the bottom, in the middle. Got a Swamp. A Gingerbread Hunter. So I think those are more valuable. Embrof Veteran. Oh, I think we missed one here. We've got a Twisted Sewer Witch. We have a Verdant Outrider. We have a Hopeless Nightmare and a Diminisher Witch. There's a lot of cards. 15 cards in the pack. Return from the Wilds. So if we gently go through this pack, and I'm going to go to the beginning where I saw a lot of these like diamonds and stuff all over them. This one looks like we need to sleeve this bad boy. Intruder Alarm. Jeez. Here it is. Intruder Alarm. If you guys want to see a close-up of it, I can show you that. Intruder Alarm. Look at the details in this one. Before we do, let's go and put this on. So I'm assuming that this means it's rare or it's valuable. I'm pretty sure it does. Because I've seen that on a card I've purchased on eBay. A graded um, one ring card and it had the same kind of like labeling same kind of marking on it so we pulled ourselves a uh, gum drop poison or oh, the centering on these the centering on these cards are actually pretty good 
Not bad at all, really. Jeez. Good quality, actually. I feel like magic is like quality over quantity. I could be wrong, I could be right, but I feel like it's more like that with magic. The cars look really good as well, like the details and the artwork just looks like spot on, man. Looks like they really do take care of their cards, man. Like they want their <coughs> consumer base to have a good, you know, experience. So here we go. It's called Copy Enchantment. It's a nice looking card. Let me know in the chat if these are worth anything. I, I really genuinely do not know. If you guys saw anything in the chat, let me know in the comment section below. And I can make sure I sleeve and top load it as soon as possible. But I, I'm going to have to look these up to see what the value of these are. But again, to go back through them, to help me out. Food. Worth anything or not? Return from the wilds. Diminish your witch. It's kind of blurryish away in a way. Uh, hopeless nightmare. Take like backwards, you know. Verdant Outrider. This one looks nice. A Twisted Sewer Witch. A Emberf Veteran. Is that one worth anything? Don't know. Uh, you've got a Gingerbread Hunter. Is that worth anything? Not sure. We've got a Vampire Rites. Is that worth anything? It's a cool looking card though. I like that one. We've got a Curiosity. Is that worth anything? It looks really nice, the artwork on it. But again, there's no label in the bottom. So I'd assume it's not like a really sought after card. Got a Hydra's Crown of Winter. And then a Court of Jerembrig. All right, people, if you're new, subscribe to find me. Let me know in the comment section which ones are valuable, which ones are not. Just let me know the names of them, and then I'll look it up, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Appreciate you guys following the channel. See you in the next one.